Okay guys, we're going to start a new video series on TEC Water Cool My PC. So, this is what we've got to start with. That's my CPU, what clocks it's running at, which is a 4670K and it's TDP is 84 watts. It's currently using 110 watts and it's at uh, 4.1 gigahertz. Now you see the temperatures are there, approximately uh, approximately 80 degrees. Now keep in mind that that is with the case open, so that will be lower than if the case was closed. So what we're going to do is we're going to TEC cool this computer. Now we're going to do something quite different, as in we're going to do it with a relatively small amount of electricity and a small amount of radiator and hopefully it's all going to work. Uh, there's quite a lot of belief that to get TECing to work you need to use a huge amount of radiators and a huge amount of electricity and frankly it probably doesn't work. So we're going to make our lives difficult and we're going to try and do it with not a lot of electricity, not a lot of radiators. Uh, admittedly we're not going to aim for minus 10 degrees, we're just going to go for below ambient uh, that would make it better than any water cooling system ever made now or in the future. So that's still a good result. If we can go lower, cool, but the main target is for just below ambient. And we're going to do that with a 280 radiator. So let's have a look at the machine. So this is as it stands now. We've got an air cooling cooler on there. And we've got these two 180 penetrator fans, which is really good for it a air cooled PC and we're going to replace those with a 280 radiator in a push pull and we're going to obviously pull the air cooled be quite cooler off and we're going to use my water block on there now it's actually pretty jolly tight to get in there so it's going to be really difficult to fit push pull with shrouds and a, a decent 655 uh, pump in there well, that's what we've got at the moment, and yes, we'll probably water cool the um, graphics card separately. I want to keep it completely separate because I've had so many problems with faulty graphics cards that I need to make it easy to remove and revert to air for warranty reasons. So we're going to go step by step, and I think the next video is going to be about the fans we're going to use. But that is where we are at. So hopefully you've enjoyed that. Please subscribe. Uh, we're going to build a controller as well because that's always the missing puzzle in TEC cooling. Is how do you control it? How do you prevent it from going sub ambient, sub dew point, and using up 1 trillion watts of electricity? Uh, while at the same time being able to cool a load of just a few watts. Or a load of 100 and something watts. So we shall see you on the next one. Bye bye guys.